All right, friends, we are on to another exercise, and now LearnPack takes us a bit back to the past before CSS existed. When CSS wasn't around, using tables was good and useful for formatting our text in a way that wasn't just linear going down. In this case, what we're going to do is just follow LearnPack's instructions to see how things worked before. We're going to add this table tag here, so we put in table, close our table element, we're going to add a border to it. In this case, we're told to add a border of zero. Inside the table tag, we'll add a row using the tr tag, and within that row, we will add two columns using the td tag. Perfect. LearnPack tells us that the first column should have a width of 25%, so we simply add a width attribute like this, width equals 25%, and it also tells us we need to put an image inside, so we place an image and get the source of the image we need to use, so we just copy and paste it. After placing the image, we'll move on to the next column, and in this case, LearnPack tells us to add an extra attribute, the vertical align attribute. In this case, we add vAlign and give it the value top, and then we add some text, just write some text here. Hit the Run button to see what happens, and notice that we have the image and text as shown in the image. If you want, we can put in a longer lorem to make it more noticeable, and there you go, perfect. Very well done. Now we just have to run the tests to see if they pass, and in this case, all is well. The tests passed without any issues. You've used a table to format the website without using CSS. Perfect. Let's move on to the next exercise.